Nick Chubb practiced today without an e-brace. Uh, Kevin Stefanski says uh, they'll make a determination Friday if they want him to go or not. What Do you think they, if there's any question, would you play him at all? Uh, Jeff and I have had this conversation probably five or six times this week. Uh, I, I would. Th- this is a game that's geared for Nick Chubb. They've got a, a suspect, um, a suspect defense against the run. Uh, the weather could be inclement. I mean, this is a situation that is tailor made for Nick Chubb if he's healthy enough to go. If there's any question, though, I think you've got to sit him because I think probably Kareem Hunt would be able to pull off the same kind of thing that he's that he's capable of doing on Sunday. All right, so they're without uh, OBJ. Uh, they're kind of weak with some of the re- wide receivers they still have. They have a problem with fumbleitis. Uh, what do you do that way? Or do you just run the ball no matter what? I mean, the, the defense well, I, of, of Houston is terrible. Yeah, I, I think they're in a good position to run the ball. Just keep running the ball. And it, I, you know, I, if Nick Chubb starts this week, I don't think there's any question the Browns win. Um, I think the Browns would have beat Las Vegas if Nick Chubb would have played. You know, it, they, they need him. They need that two-back set. They need to get Andy Janovich involved a little bit more, maybe hand him off the ball uh, every once in a while. I love watching the fullback run the ball. I'm not asking for more than three runs a game or two runs a game out of a fullback, but if they utilize him, and and you know, I know they don't want Baker to run the ball, but it does seem like that's going to be right there for the taking uh, for the Browns this weekend if they can take advantage of it. Like I, like Baker didn't have that bad of a game against Las Vegas, and you know the drops are what killed him. And then the other thing about Nick Chubb, and I don't know if you've looked at the numbers yet, but they haven't thrown the ball to him at all out of the backfield. I think he has three targets the entire season. His numbers are significantly down from when he did actually play. And, you know, obviously his rush numbers are way up there. But I, I think he's such a talented back that they need to figure out a way to get him the ball more yeah, often. And you you forget how good a receiver he is coming out of the backfield. I, I mean, his numbers are were significant last year. I mean, he can, he can do it. You know, just pass him the ball. Give it to him anyway. But he's got to be back on the field. That's the first thing.